All right, for James 1.8, he is finishing up a thought here. Here we go, James 1.8, being a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So uh, again, he's finishing up a thought here. Let's let's go back and and uh, re recap what we've gone so far in uh, the letter of James. So James, half brother of Jesus, grew up with Jesus. He uh, said that he is a tool of God. Then he goes on and talks about that the the difficult challenges that we go through uh, build character and lead us into maturity and then transitions into wisdom. If you want to be wise, uh, have the proper application of knowledge, just ask God and he'll give it to you without insulting you or putting you down. And then he does put a caveat in there and says that if you ask with doubting or discernment or discrimination, then you're not going to get this, this wisdom and you'll be double-minded, unstable in your ways. So when he talks about the the doubter, that's the, the, the person who looks to the news, looks to government, looks to their friends, uh, and looks through the, the world through that lens instead of God's wisdom lens. So this type of person, and again, with unstable, we wanna think waves right? Going back and forth, back and forth, whichever way the, the, the wind is blowing or the news or your friends is talking about. So how did James get here? Well, remember, he grew up with Jesus. So when, when he would ask Jesus for, uh, you know, a nugget of truth, he, he, would, he would say Jesus would give him that, and then he would be able to put that into practice. And so he grew up getting this. And that's why the book of James is so powerful, because he grew up learning all these lessons that, that we should have learned, and now he's applying it to our lives as adults. So I got some some synonyms for being a double-minded man, doubting, hesitating, divided in interest, vacillating, indecisive in opinion or purpose. So so in this case here we we want to make sure that when we're looking for wisdom, we're looking we're asking God first because that's where true wisdom comes from. So it's God's mandates that lead us down the right path. And remember, James is trying to be a useful tool of God, and so are we, hopefully. And in order to do that, though, we do need to have that proper application of wisdom and not use our own worldly logic. And James gets into this a little bit later when we come to what is the, the right application for knowledge.